Hello, it's Mike from the FXPivotPoint.com. Taking a look at a longer term chart of the Euro USD, my favorite currency to trade. You can see we're on the weekly chart. We talked a little while ago, actually, the last video, about our rounding bottom, and you can see it has come to fruition. We're rounding it out, um, and we're definitely headed up. How far, no one knows, but if we cancel out of our our little tool here, we do a fib study. Where are you, fib study? From top to bottom, we can see some important numbers, the 38 to 50, and the 618. We also see that the 38 back to tool. We can also see the 38 right here. So we're we're guessing after this round and bottom and the the ability here of the market to create a bottom that we're moving up to the 38 because the 38 is also near an important psych level 4100 and who knows what I don't know I can only look at this chart I don't know maybe there are other factors at 4100 but we can tell there are two big ones the, the 38 on the fib is here and it's near 4100 so no matter what happens in the market unless there's some unbelievably bullish news uh, when we get here it, it's gonna stop here it'll hit this number and it'll have a hard time making it through that number and then who knows where we go from there do we go back down to the the 23 and then head back up to the 50 and then plummet and woo no I don't know who knows what we do um, but we do know that 4100 will be a key level and we'll be looking for it no matter what our game plan is alright let's cancel all that Let's look at, take a look at, um, let's send him back to the system tray, and let's go take a look at a shorter time frame, and we can see it never, price never made it, back to our tool, price never made it to the pivot point, but boy it was close. And then we moved up from there, and look, we got a stopping point there. At R1, same thing, hesitation, and we move back up. And look, this is the, the news. This was news during the, the U.S. session. And we can see there was some, definitely some hesitation and then some down move. And then look where, almost to the pip, we hold, and this bar... That first green would have been a good one to buy. And there are some people, I was on the Forex factory, and there are actually some traders that did buy. And again, uh, look where it stops. R3, a great place to take profit. All right, so let's uh, go take a look at the pound. And we can see, oh, back to our tool because there's some stuff here. We can see, look, it doesn't. Look, look at that. It's almost to the pip. I mean, what's that? Two pips away? Uh, my system said fire a buy. I don't know where it was. I wish I would have been listening because I would have taken that trade. It stops here, hesitates up through. Look where it bounces before it moves up again. And we get uh, definitely some hesitation here. And look how close we get to resistance before it says I've had enough. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at... Oh, look at the day before. A pound. One. To look at how many times it touches. And it just acts as total support before it takes off. And again, pivots do work. They're not sexy. Uh, they're very straightforward. 
and I encourage you to at least place them on their chart on your chart and maybe use them for targets or for uh, stop losses if, if you don't want to use them as a, your primary tool uh, because they offer some great opportunities uh, in times when the market finds a bottom or, or it might turn or there might be a serious pause and I think I looked at the, the dollar again and now you can see where the stop tier look takes off where does it stop? Ooh, right to R1. Look at this. Back down to the pivot. And look where it holds. S1. And then obviously that's US News, where you don't want to be in there. All right, so thanks for watching. It's Mike from the FXPivotPoint.com. And I hope you guys have a good day. Later.